today. I love our passage. It's from John chapter 15, verses four and five. Let's look at it. It's Jesus is speaking and he says, remain in me and I will remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. And he says, I am the vine and you are the branches. If a man remains in me and I in him, he will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. So when we approach our memory verses, we wanna look at three things. We wanna look at the context, the content, and the call. Well, the context of John 15 is super important. First of all, it's the Gospel of John, which happens to be my personal favorite. In the Gospel of John, the, the Holy Spirit is trying to prove to us the deity of Jesus Christ through all of his miracles and his signs and wonders. But then when we get to uh, chapter 15, we are coming to the final night of Jesus' life before his his crucifixion and resurrection. And so he is just gathered in John's chapter 13 and 14 in the upper room with his disciples where they have held the Passover, where he has shown them that he is the bread, that he is uh, the, the wine poured out, that he has taught them about his sacrificial death. And so they leave the upper room, it tells us in John chapter 14, and they are walking to the Garden of Gethsemane. Well, at some point on their journey at night, they pass a vineyard and Jesus pauses in this vineyard to teach them the most important spiritual truth they are going to need to know as his disciples when he is gone. And he stops at this vineyard and can you just imagine the twilight of night and seeing the vines and the branches and the, grape, uh, the grapes growing and Jesus stopping and saying, I am the vine. I am the source of life. And you, my disciples, you're the branches. And showing them this physical illustration to teach this spiritual truth, which is something Jesus always did. And so he teaches this spiritual truth by using something that was common and ordinary that they would see every day, the relationship between a vine and a branch. And what is this relationship? It's one of utter dependence, and that is our content. If you wanna look at what Jesus is trying to show us, he's trying to show us that our relationship with him, if we're gonna have spiritual fruit, if we're gonna be spiritually transformed, our relationship is one of 100% dependence. We can, apart from him, do nothing. Apart from him, we cannot live the Christian life because he is the Christian life. Apart from him, we cannot bear the fruit of the Spirit because we have to remain connected to him. A couple of things I want to show you. First of all, this word remain. That word remain, uh, you will also see it translated abide, stay connected. The idea in the Greek is that you're taking up residence. This is your home. This is your place of living. He says remain. Where? In him. And then he makes this promise that he will remain in us. This is the covenant that we have with Christ, that he dwells in us by the Holy Spirit and we are his. And then he goes on to say, the reason is you can't do this without me. And what an encouragement that God did not call us to live this life on our own. He has given us the Holy Spirit. He's given us his own self in order to live in us and stay connected with us that we could do it. And then the, the call here, the call of this verse is that we would be fruitful. Now, what I love about it is he doesn't say that we will work really hard, follow a bunch of rules, and then we will bear this fruit. No, a vine by nature of being connected naturally bears fruit. It bears it. It doesn't strive to work hard after it. You don't go and see in an apple orchard this tree going, oh, apples, no. The natural result of that process, of that relationship between the vine and the branch is fruitfulness. But if a branch is cut off, or if a branch is away, no, it doesn't bear fruit. But the natural relationship of abiding, of remaining in Christ, connected to him, is that our lives are fruitful. What is this fruit? Well, if you go to Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 and 23, we see that the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentle self-control. Against such things there is no law. Here's the takeaway. When we are remaining in Christ, as our memory verse talks about, the natural overflow is that we will be bearing the fruit of his spirit in us. 
There will be love. There will be joy. There will be patience, kindness, and even self-control. Those things are the natural result of us staying connected to our Savior, us staying connected to Jesus. Thanks for joining in today. Take this word, meditate it on every day. Look at John 15, 4 and 5, and think about Jesus in the garden with his disciples, speaking these words to us so that we can remain connected to him.